Gavin with WSI, and today we're going to be talking about how to change the packing in a BS style stuffing box and how to convert that packing to dome packing if you're running cone packing, or if you're running dome packing in here, how to convert it to cone. Um, if you're used to working with our classic double pack style stuffing boxes, the process is extremely similar, but there are a few things that are a little bit different. So the tools you're going to need for this job are packing pullers, possibly a screwdriver or some type of pick, but use these minimal, you know, don't, shouldn't be your primary tool, a wrench, and then some grease, which we don't have out here for the sake of the video, but you would want to have some grease with you to, uh, to use on your, on your packing. So the first thing you're going to do when you come up on the well is follow your company's procedures on how to shut the unit off and shut that well in. Um, you're going to want to close your BOP. And then you'll come up to your stuffing box and you're going to shut in your poor boy BOP um, up here. And how this works is there's two pieces of comb packing down here in this chamber. Um, and then there's a ring, a compression ring that sits on top of them. And as you run these, these ram bolts in, it compresses on that ring and it compresses your packing. And it gives you a safe space to then operate and swap out your packing. Um, and isolates your, that chamber from the pressure below. So when you operate these you want to do it the same way you would a rod BOP with even turns so if you go two to three turns on this side two to three turns on this side vice versa until you're tight so we'll tighten those up tight. You still want to double check and make sure that you don't have any pressure trapped in here. One sign that that can happen is if when you go to loosen this BS cap, once you get past that initial, uh, you know, thread engagement, it should start to be fairly loose. You know, if, if it's still really, really tight all the way up, there's a good sign you've got some pressure trapped in here. Just be mindful of that. If you're experiencing that, stop, take a look at your gauges, reassess what you have going on um, so you can work safely. We're good, we've got these tightened in, we've got our BOP shut in, so we're gonna grab our third hand and loosen our BS top cap. Raise that up on the well. These work easiest and best if you have them all the way open when you start, just makes it a little bit easier when you get up here on the polish rod. You turn it, and then operate the screw. Hand tight's all you need. Don't get a wrench on here, even though it looks like this would be a good spot for a wrench to go. All you need is hand tight. You get a wrench on here and wrench on it, you're going to scar and scar up your polish rod, prematurely wear it. So you would also normally have this upper follower here, and you would pull that up with your cap. For the sake of the video and time, we've already taken this part out, and we're just using the cap up here and showing you how the third hand works. So your upper follower's off. At this point, you grab your packing pullers. Um, some guys use one, some guys use two. You just operate them like a corkscrew, screw them in, pull out. Work your way down each set until you get to the bottom. The bottom of these stuffing boxes have what's called a lower alignment ring in them. Lower brass ring, lower alignment ring. These sit down here in the bottom and they allow you to run your packing inverted. In a BS style stuffing box, your comb packing is run inverted. In your classic double pack, you run that comb packing like this. But in these, you run it inverted. So you've got to have this lower alignment in here if you're going to run comb packing. Shouldn't need to pull your lower alignment ring out unless you're wanting to swatch and swap and change it to dome. So we're just going to assume that we're leaving this in here, lower alignment's in the bottom. You take your packing, individually grease it, put it on your rod, make sure that you're alternating your slits. Like we say, north, east, west, south, or whatever works for you. And then when you get to your last piece, one of the differences is where here you put this thicker piece of comb packing as opposed to the others. In the bottom, on a BS style, you put this on the top. This is the last piece that goes in. And then your upper alignment ring will sit right on there like that. Your cap will come down, tighten everything up. So once you've done that, um, you want to open the well back up. Once you've got your top cap back on and you've gotten it hand tight, go back over, run your, your poor boy BOP out. If 
you got your BOP at, actual rod BOP below this, run those out. Go turn your pumping unit on and give it a few minutes to pump back up. And you want to tighten this BS top cap. You want to start off with it just a little bit tighter than hand tight. And then you want to go in eighth to quarter of a turn increments until you end up with a light film of polish rod, a light film of oil on your polish rod. You don't want it to be bone dry, so you don't need to immediately tighten this thing way up and then you know turn the unit on and walk off. You're going to prematurely wear your packing, and you're just going to start, you know, it's going to overheat, and you're going to wear it quicker than it needs to. So the main difference is with cone, if you want to convert from running cone packing to dome packing, and we'll shoot, we've got more videos that you can find on YouTube and on our website where we explain really the difference in cone and dome packing and cone packing. But uh, Cone has got this Teflon piece in here, this Teflon brass wear bushing. Um, and in all of our higher pressure stuffing boxes, our 3 and 5K stuffing boxes, this is our standard packing for those. So if you want to convert our 1500 BS to Cone, you pull your lower alignment ring out of the bottom. Easier to do when the stuffing box is off the well or the polish rod is out, to be honest with you. You can do it with the polish rod in there. Um, it's just a little more difficult. You pull the lower alignment ring, and then you put... A brass ring in the bottom. Let me get these out of the way. Put a brass ring down first and it goes with this circular bevel piece down and then this operates kind of just how you would normally. You take your, you're going to alternate your slits, you're going to grease your packing, you're going to put your brass Teflon ring on first, then you're going to put your dome follower, follow that all the way up, alternate your slips. When you get to the top, you place this piece in up. So it sits like that. And then your upper follower, you run it the opposite direction as you do with cone. It sits just like that, kind of with your beveled coming up. Then you bring your top cap down. You make sure your poor BOP is open. You make sure your BOP is open. And you start the process of opening the well back up. So. That's the main way you check. You, you change the packing or you swap from cone to dome. Once again, the main thing to think is if you're running cone packing and you want to go to dome, you got to pull this. If you're running dome packing and you want to go and transition into cone packing, dome and cone, dome and cone, you, uh, you've got to put this in your stuffing box. This is not, this doesn't come from the factory with a lower alignment ring if you ordered it with uh with cone packing. That's the other thing to think about is if you order a standard 1500 BS from WSI without anything special on it, it's going to be shipped with cone packing and a lower brass alignment ring. So if you want to upgrade that to dome, you just have to pull this, put that in there. Um, the other thing we have for these BS stuffing boxes, um, first started selling these up in North Dakota, is we had some customers that uh, requested some way to, to seal these BS boxes off if they had a polish rod part and if they weren't running a flapper. Um, or even if they were running a flapper, it gave them a second barrier of protection. So if they had a polish rod part, the polish rod was pulled up and out of the stuffing box or broken an area where it fell down below everything and it's down hole. And so this gave them an option to have the flapper seal here and to have a secondary barrier here. And so, or in this scenario where this stuffing box doesn't have a flapper in it, this one has the pollution control flapper, this one doesn't, it allows you to get on location and temporarily put a spud in here to keep this stuffing box from being open to atmosphere. Super simple, it's a piece from make. You just pull your, obviously, all your normal oper safety operating procedures if you're going to work on your stuffing box, shut the well in, shut the BOP in, run your poor boy BOP in. Pull this off, you take your BS spud, drop it right down on top of your packing, come back with your cap, thread your cap on. Now the well is obviously not in production at this point, and it's also not spewing, it's just kind of an issue where it's open in the atmosphere and you don't want it to be, um, because you've had a polish rod part. That gives you a secondary, you just screw this down, pulls everything tight, they can sit there like that for, for you know, several days until you get out there and, and get that situation fixed. So thanks for watching these video, the video today. 
Um, you can follow us on YouTube. You can like and subscribe to our channel. Um, there'll be a link at the end of the video to sh if you have more questions on the rest of our product line. If you'd like one of these trainings in person, we come out and do those as well. So, again, thank you. Remember to uh, work smart, be safe, and make your connection with WSI.